you know, a lot of coke, uh, booze, weed, the good pills, stuff. yeah, the good mushrooms, stuff. acid. None of that had the psychedelic effect that it did for Joe Rogan, where he was like, you know, it opened his mind and you know it made him a better person and it helped discipline him. But like for me, I did acid and like you know I was in that other realm, just you know trying to convince the entities to buy condos. <laughs> <laughs> I look like a guy that's trying to convince a native tribe to let a, a logging company, you know, <laughs> slash a few acres of Brazilian rainforest, you know? You start doing comics. 2010. What made you get up? What made me do it the first time? Yeah. I was in the mortgage business and uh, in 2009. College educated? Uh, no, dropped out of community college uh, to do Percocet and sell subprime mortgages in Long Island, which I still believe is the what I will return to. Uh, <laughs> I believe stand-up is a sabbatical from my true calling, which is to work in a strip mall. I think cops are heroes, and they have to have a difficult job, but we have to have... That That's also gay to be like, cops are heroes. Like, where, why am I not constantly being interviewed on everything? <laughs> I mean, doesn't that disturb you? It disturbs me. Yeah. Why is anyone allowed to talk except me? Like, because that's so gay. Like, they're so easy to just shut her down. He's like, cops are heroes. I want to suck their cock. It's like, no, no, that's no. Not it. I know a lot of cops that aren't heroes. Can we cut it? Stop with the hero shit, by the way. Yeah. No one's a hero. No Nobody's one's a hero. a hero. Cops, nurses, military, firefighters. No one's a hero. We all have jobs. Yes. Stop. Stop with this horse shit. Heroes are from fictional narratives and books and yes. odysseys and stuff. You're a hero when you fucking start doing it for free. It's your job. Yes, you saved a woman in a laundromat because you're in a, you're an EMT. You're not a hero. Shut up. Shut, yeah. I hate this shit. I hate heroes. It. Nurses. <laughs> during Corona, they started acting like they had no idea anyone would get sick. You're a nurse. I'm sorry you didn't get to just hang around stealing Percocet and you had to do your fucking job. <laughs> Who cares? These heroes are not. Keep playing it. Keep playing it. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. No, it's great. They belong I think on TV shows with children. That I think they are that. heroes in a sense because they come to your need and they come and help you. And they have a problem just like every other business. But we should fix that. God. It's it's, it's too, but, but it's too retards. Well, it's too yeah, yeah, yeah. it's too stupid people. You're the you're a mortgage broker in Long Island. I meet you in a diner, which is you call your office. The Imperial yeah. Diner in Freeport. Yeah, absolutely yeah. phenomenal. Yeah, you go. We gotta make it real. Yeah. So it's the Imperial <laughs> Diner in Freeport on Merrick Road. <laughs> Yeah, you say meet me at the office, and you. I hear you well, hang hey, up. We'll spill hot coffee in you by mistake, and look at you and go. Yeah, yeah. And when you tell me to meet you at your office, I hear the clang of a payphone when you hang up. Yeah. And so yeah. I, I meet your office. I come in. I say, hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you, Mr. Dylan. Me and my wife just got married. Um, you know, I'm a comedian. I, I saved up about 80k. Um, uh, you know, she wants to live. We're having a baby. She, she wants Mr. to live Pop on the is, island. You got Mr. Pop. I'm very glad. Can I get a loan? Not only can you get a loan, but let me let me tell you something. Yeah. How much of that eighty k are you prepared to spend on the property? I don't know, uh, D Mr. Dillon. Uh, you know, I'm a pretty conservative guy. I saved every single dollar right. from my more how recent much shows. You, how much are you prepared to spend? Um, hold on. Let me go into Maurice's brain. For no, a no, second. no. Of that eighty thousand, how much would you like to spend? Are I'm, you willing to spend all of it? I, I'm willing to spend. I'm willing to spend about sixty or seventy of it. Mr. Pappas, guess how much of that eighty you're gonna have to spend? How much? Nothing. What? Nothing. You're not going to spend anything. Because let me explain something to you. Sit down. The wife is lovely. Would you like a cup of coffee? Yeah. Here's the thing. Yeah. Can, wait, can I get Pappas, a, Can I get pancakes while I'm here? Yeah, you can yeah. get anything. The bricks and sticks of your house yeah. appreciate. Uh -huh. The frame. The land. Uh -huh. They appreciate value. <laughs> you know what your money does in your house for you, Mr. Pappas? It does absolutely nothing. Right. You know what the wealthiest people do with real estate, Mr. Pappas? Right. A lot of them finance it. Why? Because your mortgage is your only tax write-off. It is the only write-off. It is your only fucking weapon against the federal government. The larger the loan you take, the better it is for you financially. And you take that $80,000, and, and I'm not wrong, by the way, and you put, well, I'm a little, and you put it in tax-exempt securities like Roth IRAs. Mr. Pappas, you maximize the amount of, of tax-exempt retirement accounts that you put your money in with that $80,000, you make it work for you. You do not sink it into a house. Yes or yes. So the reality is this. We're taking the biggest loan possible. <laughs> Debt, Mr. Pappas will set 
you free. <laughs> now sign this piece of paper for Christ. And at that point, you and your wife are crying. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, we sign papers, then you, you go die. But how do you get the loan from the bank? <laughs> They're well, giving yeah, them away. Yeah, take me to it. What are we doing? We're talking about now or back in the day? No, back, back in the day. day. Yeah, back in the day, I go to the bank. I said, Kelly, <laughs> we got one. And Kelly, I said, Mr. Pappas and his wife, Brittany's from Long Island. They want to go buy a piece of marble hunk of shit. <laughs> and Kelly has got coke running down her nose from last night. She's got a fucking double tall non-fat latte from Starbucks non-fat. She's Mark? not getting anyone. No. We just celebrated the 4th of July. 4th of July, and then a few days later, our ex-president told us that he wasn't on the pedophile island. <laughs> Happy 4th of July. Isn't that nice, everyone? Oh, say, can you see? I was only on the plane four times. I never went to the island. We had a quick meeting in Harlem. And the crimes that he did, all the fucking of kids, was not involved with my Clinton Foundation work. Oh, say I am innocent of the Twitter mob. I only raped Juanita. she enjoyed it no matter what she said i know but like i don't think i'm coming back to new york forever yeah no i figured i, I mean, mean like when you get out why why come back i just and i told my family i said i don't think i feel comfortable seeing any of you again <laughs> even if there's a vaccine even if it's five to ten years from now and literally the word coronavirus hasn't ever been mentioned to honor the work that the heroes have done. I don't How good it's, are your dating lives? I, ma I make everything up. <laughs> I, ma I make everything up. So give me, walk me through. Most like, people on the sites think I'm Amy Schumer. Yes, <laughs> Tim Dillon today, folks. Yeah, what's that? And here's my problem with you. No, I'm kidding. Yes. But that's sometimes fun well, to jump in. Well, beef, it's beef. Well, here's what, well, it's going to happen. Well, what's going to yeah. happen is, is somebody's going to jump in. Uh, Jasmine, a.k.a. Vinny, we call on the show. She's going to jump in and, you, tell, and yeah. tell her her problem with you because she left cigarette butts on the floor yesterday. And oh, she's like, I what? feel bad she's about like, that. Vin, I, get in here and talk about I the feel cigarette butts. I'm so sorry, but I wanted to give her something to do. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's very tough when yeah. you don't have anything to do. Here she is coming in. Vin, I told him, what do you have to I say to Tim about the about cigarette the butts on the floor? I didn't mean to. Oh. But the, the I'm just gonna let you know about I, the cute little butt that I found. I over didn't the floor. mean to. You know what it is. Yeah. I just I, I want everyone to have something to do. Yeah. And I wanted everybody to have. Well, like, here, here's why she was, was mad. <laughs> Oh, Vin. You well, got an ashtray? She got an ashtray. Well, well here's oh, what. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm a scumbag. <laughs> Nobody smokes anymore. I'm the only person you saw. I'm the only scumbag left in America. <laughs> thank you so much. And nobody, well, nobody he, smokes, but, you know, yeah. he, where he, I grew up, people people tend to have a butt. I yeah. apologize. Well, here's the thing. I think the real reason she got mad <laughs> is because her son. Cause her, cause yeah. Her, yeah. Because <laughs> our 11-year-old stepson, Tristan, started smoking because he misses his father. Though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my father did it. My father did a quick episode on the Patreon yesterday. He's seventy six years old, and he just got the vaccine. And people are championing that. And I said, "Well, you know, my father still calls black people coloreds. So right. does he deserve to live? Yeah. Does well, they, you should have to take a test before you get the vaccine to see how woke you are. Yeah. And if you're worth keeping on planet Earth. Yeah. Because we just vaccinated everyone over sixty five. We just vaccinated a lot of racists. Jasmine, are those the egg sandwiches? Well, could you just put it in front of me because I like to know that I'll have it later. <laughs> but you don't want the bread, though. We said no bagel. We're going to talk. Let's just eat the bagel. I might have to eat a little bit of the bagel. Yeah. I just trying to eat a little bit of. The, I don't yeah. want to lose my modeling contract. Do you, yeah. Do you want now? Do you want chili flakes or sesson or adobo on no, it? No. Do we have any ketchup? Do we got ketchup, Jazz? She has sesson. She said. What? What is that? That's like a Spanish spice. Well, she puts it, chili shit no on ketchup? everything. No, she has ketchup. Thank you, love. I appreciate it. Um, I'm just trash. I like ketchup and I like Taco Bell. Truly. Can you just, I just want to ask you something into the mic. Now, 
you. you know, Tim, Vin, born and raised in the, you know, Sunset Park, Bay Ridge area. Real quick, I just want to know, you don't have to name it's names, it's but I just want to know, have you went on a date with or, you know, hooked up Am with- Am I going to throw this at you? No. Somebody who you think was in the mafia. The Italian mafia. Yes or no? Have you ever went on a date with somebody, no names, who's, who you think has been in the Italian mafia? You don't ask a woman that. What do you mean I don't ask a woman that? Why no. can, well, have you? We don't talk about this. I just want to know because you've dated some tough guys, you know. No. You never have? That's a lie. No. I can tell because, you're, because your nose ring is quivering. That's a, <laughs> that's a fucking lie. So no. how about MS-13? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. Let's go through every crime. Yeah. <laughs>